the early 50s saw the spread of a moral panic about the impact of horror comics on America's youth. The result was the creation of the Comics Code Authority to censor such content. These are the books that caused that. So the CCA basically pinned the rise of juvenile delinquency firmly on the comics industry. And all this was set against a backdrop of Senate hearings and comic burnings and the release of a book called The Seduction of the Innocent. Yeah, he actually said that. So, because of this act of destruction, plus the fact that comics from this era were really meant to be read and discarded, pre-code horror comics are incredibly hard to find and stupidly expensive when you do. Until now. We have assembled a collection of the best and most renowned pre-code horror comics from the Golden Age, hunting them down from conventions and auctions and private collectors. Then we've developed a process that combines art, science, and black magic to produce the highest quality reproductions ever created, before printing them as individual facsimile issues using the same techniques and paper stocks as the originals. And we're talking the biggest and most renowned books of the era. Things like Suspense Comics 3, Punch Comics 12, Chamber of Chills 19, titles that would cost you upward of 50 grand each to collect. Not only have we crafted the ultimate collections of these special comics, but we've also created complete runs of these classic series, delivered as individual facsimile issues in premium box sets, so that now you can own a piece of comics history. What we've done is create books that'll make it feel like you've jumped into a DeLorean, traveled back to the 40s and 50s, and pulled these things straight off the newsstand. We've spent over two years developing the technology and process that has enabled this collection, and we're thrilled to share this truly historic project with you.